We've been waiting for you, Captain Fortune. This your crew? Guess so. As promised, one magnificent ship. That is a mighty vessel. Uh, does it have a name? I haven't gotten around to naming her yet. She was... recently acquired. Care to do the honors? Really? Oh, but I couldn't. Uh, Brom is not so good at naming things. Come on, first thing that comes to mind. The... Uh... Charming lady? Brom, you lady killer. Excuse me? The charming lady. I like it. <sighs> All right, people, listen up. This isn't a pleasure cruise, so don't get too comfortable. We've got a harrowing to stop. I've got a washed up Reaver King to kill. And remember, from here on out, it's Captain Fortune. Hi, aye, Captain. Uh, this is gonna be a long trip. Potential, but you are a wild boy, a tempest that must be tamed. Yes, remember all I have taught you, Master. I never should have abandoned my post. Yes, what have you done? Have you no honor, Fione? You're mistaken. This wasn't me. I... I was only gone a short while. Will you further disgrace yourself with these lies? Our master bears wounds. Only your blade would have dealt. Brother, please let me through. No. melody. Don't let me stop you. I prefer not to have an audience. Ah, uh, yes, the Lone Swordsman. A classic tale. I was seeking some quiet. Alawi and the others speak highly of your skills. Are we still talking about my music? We don't know each other yet. But if you're as good as they say, I could use a man like you. A man like me. Sometimes my enemies need convincing. That blade of yours would help certain negotiations. I already work for someone. Right, the missing girl. Whatever she's paying, I promise my terms would be sweeter. I swore I would protect her. And I'll keep my word. Even if it leaves me poor as a beggar. Or dead. You remind me of a saying I once heard. Fear the warrior who has been disgraced. He will set pride before reason, redemption before life. Uh, it's Ionian. I know it. Don't talk to me about disgrace. I was talking about redemption. I don't care what you did, or about your past. My offer stands whether you find your girl or not. But for the record, I hope you do. Enjoy your solo. Your sailing improves. 
You are still on board. Ha! <laughs> yes. And the water is still outside the ship. Then, what troubles you? Ah. You worry for your people. Yes. Rome has vanquished many foes. But what my people face now, this sickness, it cannot be stopped with fist and shield. I admire your strength. Yes. It is uh, one of Rome's most admirable qualities. In Buru culture, we respect those who take what they want. Strength is a tool that allows us to live in the moment. And I suppose we are having a moment now? Yes. One we could have below deck. Yes. The Brom would love to continue discussing the Buru religion. But with the sea, the ship's rolling deck, Brom is afraid to... Take his eyes off the horizon. Oh, oh dear. You must forgive me. When Brom is sick, it is a mighty storm. An avalanche of... No, oh, uh, please excuse me! That man is strange. I like it. Really? I need to remind you to knock? We have unfinished business. Yes, that's why you're on my boat, heading towards the most dangerous place in existence. What more do you want from me? Sarah, I can tell you are hurt. I'm hurt? Oh, yes. Gangplank still lives. Sure, this is obviously not great news to me. But we're going to kill him properly this time, and then I'll feel better. I know his deeds were unforgivable, but I want to make it clear that my priority is not Gangplank's death. It is to stop this harrowing. But Gangplank is causing this harrowing. You saw it in a vision yourself. Sarah, I am bound to the Mother Serpent. She has plans for all of us. She needs me to save Bilgewater, but she didn't give me specifics. I must put the Goddess first. I don't know how that will affect our mission, but we do not have the same goals. I try to respect your beliefs, Alawi, and maybe your intentions are pure. But he killed my mother. I... I know. The Goddess will send me another sign soon, I am sure. But until then... What the hell? Above deck, now! Captain, there's an angry giant headed right for us. Brace for impact! Blow off some steam. Keep fighting! This mission will not end here. Not against this thing. Priestess from the docks. You put the new voice in my head. I tested you. Yes. The Mother Serpent deemed you worthy. Worthy? The dark comes. To swallow everything. You 
made them stop. The voices. So, your coming is no coincidence. The Blood Harbor Ripper. My prey calls me that. My name is Pike. You brought the Blood Harbor Ripper onto my ship? I'm starting to reconsider our arrangement. Sarah Fortune, I know your name. You've killed a lot of good men. I'd be doing the world a favor by gutting you right here. Sarah, he is chosen. Well, make better choices. I have seen the truth in the deep. Blood in the water. And on my list, one name burns brightest. What name? Gangplank. The deep demands his blood. The fool has made powerful enemies. A whole ship full, it seems. I know a weapon when I see one. That, I can use. So long as it doesn't gut me in my sleep. What do you say? Your terms are acceptable. For now. This has been a very exciting voyage! abandoned you at your darkest hour. Now, they feel your triumphant return. Well, the crown is buried in Bilgewater, like you asked. Excellent. Even now, it draws the black mist. Soon, it will expand my reach to the city itself. What of the Buru artifacts? I have them all here. Then let us return to my domain. The ritual can finally begin. All this for Bilgewater. When this demon's done, I hope there's still a city left for me to rule. We've arrived. The Shadow Isles are even more frightening up close. The Black Mist will be strongest here. Goddess only knows what we shall face. Steal yourselves. Despite the dangers, we must focus on finding Gangplank, no matter the cost. One man can be killed as easily as another. Why the concern? I already killed this man once. Is that delightful aroma? Just cooking up a little something. Mm, the smell is so spicy, so so savory. You must teach this to me. Sorry, big guy. Old family secret. One of the few things I have left from my mother. It is special, this love you have for her. You honor her memory. Yeah, well, she was a special woman. Now let's see if I've done her recipe justice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This 
This is incredible! As good as your Druvasks do. Better. <laughs> well, maybe when all this is over, I'll let you take my recipe back to the Freljord. If I'd trust anyone with it, it's you. Thank you, Captain. This warms Brom's heart. <laughs> and his belly. Sharpening your blades. A habit. The flesh is too weak to dull them, but it brings me peace. Besides, a cleaner death is my way of showing mercy. I suppose it is. The test. You wonder how I survived? I do. What did you feel? Did the Mother Serpent speak to you? I heard uh, a voice I have not heard before. It clashed with those I have. Blood and smoke, liquid black. Myself with a burden, a different one. A new calling for you. That could explain... Temporary. Like most living things. I am curious to see if you are right. I don't really care if I am. Dark things here. Nothing I trust. Not like the Deep. At least the big things down there have the decency to show their faces. Ugly faces. But honest ones. He speaks the truth. What's this? A seal. A powerful one. Magic is kind of your thing, right? So this is no big deal. Magic? Do not tempt my anger, Sarah. My knowledge flows through the goddess. This ward is something else entirely. A twisted power. Something we should get used to seeing, I suppose. I can try to break the barrier, but it will take time. Time is one thing we don't have. Can't I shoot it? If you'd care to try, by all means. <sighs> the deep. It calls to me. The deep? Where? From. I assume he knows what he's doing. My goddess found him worthy. Spirits here are restless. What do you know of spirits? In Ionia, the spirits are calm. The world flows around them. Rocks in the stream. Perhaps I would like to go there one day.
This cold, it's not normal. I feel it even when we're around the fire. Rom never feels the cold. But here, my bones rattle. Don't tell me you actually sleep with your eyes open. I don't sleep. Oh, well, that makes two of us. You are haunted. You want revenge so badly, I can taste it. Hey, I've got a list too. But mine only has one name on it. Gangplank. When I've killed him, then I'll see about getting some sleep. The Deep calls for his blood. Who would have thought you and me would ever have something in common? But Pike... I need to be the one to do it. Or... we can take turns? I've never shared a kill. Maybe just this once. Wait. What is it, friend? This cloak. It was worn by the one who hired me. The one who disappeared in Bilgewater. It smells like flowers. How nice, eh? <sighs> I was her guide, her protector. And I still owe her my duty. I gave her my word. Words. Bonds. They are all we have. And this time, I will keep it. In this, we have an understanding. In the blade as well, I see. Yours is too long. Clumsy. A blade is never clumsy. Only the one wielding it. Has Bilgewater always been your home? What it was before doesn't matter. Now it's just my hunting ground. The city is full of killers, but it's your name on every sailor's lips. You do not simply hunt, you bring terror. There is power in fear. In that we agree. But you limit yourself. I believe there is more to you. A higher purpose. What purpose? That is for you to discover. You only see blood in the water because you've been swimming in place. Blind to the vast open sea just beyond. There is nothing for me beyond. There is only the deep. Pike. No more words. I wish to be alone. I'm sure you did what you had to do. I'm sorry, what? Your brother. You've proven thus far that you are not someone to take life in vain. I appreciate your optimism, but I don't think you know me well enough to say that for certain. What makes you so sure? The winds, as you say, they blow many directions. Sometimes they are dark, cold. Sometimes they are warm and easy. We either move with them, or twist in them. Apparently, I talk too much. Perhaps it was your test, and you survived. With a purpose. I... I do have a purpose. Proving my innocence is less important to me than serving justice. At least in this matter. I believe you. Just a few more people left to convince then. Captain, you're up late. There's work to be done. My schemes won't hatch themselves. 
What happened in Bilgewater? It's hard to lose people. I know you're doing all you can. Your loyalty to the city is admirable. Thanks. I wish others shared your view of things. Hey, I'm always looking for capable soldiers for my crew. And you... You're more than capable. You would do well for yourself. And for me. I'm flattered. But I know what I have to do next. And for that, I need to leave Bilgewater. Sorry to hear it. I hope you'll find your way back before long. Good night, Sarah. Corruptors! What? Where? Show them to Brom! You, defilers of the grove! Ah, majestic tree creature! There is a mistake. We... You go no further. Tarnish these lands no longer. This tree is very loud. I like that. Saplings shall rise where your corpses rot. I am suffering. They are not the enemy, Ageless One. Ari. How? And... Why? Yasuo, you found me. Even here. I see my choice was a wise one. Uh, perhaps. But was mine. Speak of the Outsiders, Ari. You know them to be friend. I know one of them. Avastaya. That's who you were protecting? She hired me as protection. That obviously wasn't necessary. Why did you leave without telling me the truth? The truth wasn't yours to know. My search is mine alone. I thought you were in danger. You had my help, but you chose to fight through Grey Harbor alone. It is not wise for me to... stay in one's company for long. I could sense your potential. It's why I sought you out. And why I had to leave you. Hmm. Boy, I hate to interrupt, but we aren't here for touching reunions. Or awkward ones. Then why are you here, if not to disrupt the Grove? We're following someone. His name is Gangplank. The one who disturbs the mists. What does that mean? Gangplank is manipulating the Black Mist? That's impossible. Do you truly believe it impossible, human? I... Damn it. I came to the Shadow Isles seeking Gangplank as well. He brought an artifact of my people here. But when I arrived, I learned that he serves a greater evil. Thresh, the master of the Black Mist. It is worse than we feared. Thresh has a fortress here. Gangplank must be inside it. Wicked spirits? Deadly mist? This was a great kingdom! What happened here? This grove was sacred. An oasis of life, surrounded by choking death. The last bastion against encroaching shadow. Now, it too shall succumb. How could this happen? Show them, Ari. Before the Ruination, the Blessed Isles were a land of beauty and wonder. Surrounded by a magic white mist, the islands were hidden for many ages. 
Maokai roamed freely, as old as the islands himself. He plunged his roots into a blessed spring deep below the land, growing many saplings with their powerful waters. The land was blanketed by trees, emerald tops as far as the eye could see. The blessed waters nourished all. Then, the humans came. At first, they thrived, though Maokai was wary. For many years, the humans lived peacefully on the island, some even communing with him and being shown the secret of the blessed waters. Many years later, the soldiers came. Maokai sensed something was terribly wrong. They sought the waters of life, having heard rumors of their healing powers. And finally, the ruination. Fueled by greed and pain, these soldiers and their king unleashed a black mist upon the island. In an instant, a massive explosion rolled over the island, and the black mist devoured everything. Maokai absorbed what blessed water he could, but was forced to act. He fought off the shadows, seeking refuge. But now, the Shadow Isles are all that remain. And Maokai holds on to what little hope he can, fighting to push back the mist. You are a protector. I was, with free reign to roam the island. Now, the mist creates walls, impassable barriers that even I cannot penetrate. Your power is immense. Do you hold back? The one you seek, Gangplank. He stirs the mist. It appears more dangerous, even more nightmarish. It moves where it should not. That doesn't answer my question. I am held back. Deep One, my roots, which once drank of the blessed waters beneath the Shadow Isle's surface, are now absorbing the black mist. It has invaded the vaults below. Blessed water? Guardian friend, might Brom find some in these vaults? No. The wells have run dry. What blessed water remains now courses through my leaf and root. Ah, you are certain. Brom swore an oath to return to his village with a cure. Brom never tells a lie. What water remains in the vaults will surely be tainted. The Black Mist will see to this. With the help of his friends, Brom can find a way to cleanse it. We must try! That is, if any water exists at all, tainted or otherwise. Should I discover any, and you still live, I will share it. Vastaya, you head to the vaults. Why? I am in search of something. Some information. You could have told me that before. If you must know, I seek knowledge about my ancestors. My tribe. The Vasani. Wouldn't they be back in Ionia? I have never met them. But long ago, before the ruination, the Vasani came here. We are going to the vaults as well. We must free Maokai's roots, and clear the path forward if we hope to catch Gangplank. Ah, how... convenient. Allow me to keep my word. We're coming with you. Yasuo, you've seen my powers, but you haven't seen everything I can do. I've had mortal allies, friends, before. Being close to them, I hurt them. If I learn about my tribe, I will learn more about myself and my magic. Until then, it's safer for you if I travel alone. Our meeting again was not chance. 
There is a reason. We are coming with you. All right. Until we have each achieved our goals. When that time comes, we walk new roads. Alone. Then it is agreed. Perhaps you are here to cleanse, rather than corrupt. Tread lightly, small ones. Ari, what could you hope to learn about yourself in a place like this? The less you know about me, the better off you are, swordsman. Is it possible to know less than I do? If we're being honest, Yasuo, the rest of us know a lot less than you. I... am the last of my kind. There is no record of another Vasani. The only clues I have led me here. To the Shadow Isles? Alone? Kids these days. I am older than all of you combined. Okay. Still. We need trust to work together, even if it's brief. Especially if we're fending off certain death. These sunstones. I've carried them my whole life, never knowing why or where they came from. A clue led me to Bilgewater, and a merchant there suggested Gangplank recently bought a sunstone from him. A merchant? Do not question me. We will help each other and be done with it. You don't trust her, do you? She is older than all of us combined. No, I don't trust her. I do sense conflict in her, but I am not fearful. We shall keep our heads up regardless. When the spirits in this place cry out, I can feel what they lost. I can see the Isles as they once were. You can see the Blessed Isles? They were beautiful, but so strange. My ancestors must have felt like such outsiders here. This is one of the Blessed Isle vaults. I heard of their beauty and legacies. Seeing them in this state is disheartening. That one remains intact at all is remarkable. The ruination lived up to its name. Which begs the question, can we get it open? What a beautiful door! I love beautiful doors! Okay... There's always a way in. Let's look around. The mist is thick with spirits who died in the ruination. And it carries the breath of their loss. Their despair. That makes sense. There's nothing colder than the feeling of defeat. These markings... There is something familiar about them. Can you decipher their meaning? There are so many memories in my mind. So many lives. I can feel something... reaching to me. Spirits? Did they speak to you? No. The stones are resonating with a memory. I can't picture it, but I can feel it. Maybe there really are answers here. Yasuo? I can come back if you wish to be alone. I don't mind the company. Unless it's Braum. <laughs> he is... spirited. And you're polite. Ari, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? Back in Bilgewater. Why did you leave without me? I vowed to protect you. I was afraid that staying with me would put you in danger. It comes with the territory. Not danger from our enemies. From me. I'm not afraid of you. I know. That's why I had to leave. Ari. Good night, Yasuo. Little Fox, can Brom do anything for you? Thank you, Brom, but I'm fine. I've grown accustomed to sleeping in caves, and without company. <laughs> My friend, 
Beds are too small for Brom. <laughs> I too prefer the expensive cradle of the wilderness. The night Yasuo and I arrived in Bilgewater was the first night I've slept in a bed since I can remember. He cares for you a great deal, you know. When I met Yasuo, finding you was all he spoke of. It's why he came to the Shadow Isles. Uh, but uh, let's keep that between us. I... don't know what to say. Then say nothing. Just know, you are among friends. Rest now, little fox. And remember, we are stronger together. Thank you, Brom. I am glad to call you my friend. This vault is rife with the stench of black mist. Death runs deep here. For Maokai, it is death we must repel, at any cost. A temporary reprieve. All will eventually drown, choking on the waters of life. Hmm, now he's a philosopher. He is worthy. Welcome, Gangplank, to my inner sanctum. Look upon your prize. Is that it? The ancient king's sword? It is the blade of the ruined king. Within it sleeps his spirit. With the Buru artifacts you delivered from Bilgewater, we shall extract the king's soul. But to trap him, to bend his dark strength to your service, you will need the amulet I gave you. I carry it with me always. The king is a creature of the black mist. The amulet can absorb the mist, but its strength is equal only to the bearer's will. When the time comes, your mortal will must defeat the kings. Only then will his magic submit to your control. A battle of the wills? You seem worried. Never fear. This king and I are from an older time. I know some of his secrets. His heart still rages after all these centuries. I will break his spirit. You won't have to do that. My will to rule Bilgewater is unstoppable. Almost as unstoppable as misfortunes. Greater than hers. You cannot know what sleeps in the heart of your enemy. You must guard this amulet with your life. For now, the king must build his strength. Let us awaken him and see what a thousand years of slumber does to a man's soul. Hear me through the veil. Your slumber has weakened you. 
We will search for her when your strength has returned. Where is she? Your beloved deserves to see you in all your royal might, with all your powers restored. Yes, I... I am her king. She waits for me. So that is the man whose will I must break. He seeks his queen, but she is long dead. His love for her is merely a means to control him. Of course, he will submit to me. Take time to enjoy the estate, such as it is. We will try again soon. a suitable mortal host. But the amulet will break him eventually. Even the strongest cannot resist the mist forever. And when Gangplank's spirit breaks, all the souls in the world will be mine to reap. <laughs> 